So we've covered so many women on this channel. We've covered so many emails. We did Vivian, Jesse, Ari, Catherine, Kelly, all these ladies. But you would never guess. You would have never guessed it, right? You would have never guessed that it gets even better. You know what I'm saying? Because we're going to introduce a brand new character, shiny, new, squeaky clean, just just fresh for the for the depravity. We have Miss Sarah. And you got to think about Sarah as pretty much a American version of Vivian. So we had the German girl. We had German girl. You know, all that's all that interesting shit that was taking place. We have the Americanized version of that. And boy, oh boy, does this shit, they don't cease to, to entertain. They never cease to entertain because Sarah goes on a little tangent herself. But before we get ahead of ourselves, we have to finish the story of Catherine. And if you guys don't remember Catherine, we did that last video. She's getting the Joker tattoo and it reminds her of Wade Wilson. And, you know, she's on the downward spiral of destroying her life. And she's using Wade Wilson as a fast track, you know? You know, on the highway, they have the fast track lane. She's using him to speed things up a little bit. Let's go ahead and check these things out. So just a refresher from yesterday. Catherine was saying that she can't really talk right now because she might get fired for talking. So I'll talk to you later. That's where we left off. So Catherine hits Wade Wilson up again, you know, at 3.49 p.m., so I'm assuming she just got off of work. Imagine you just got off of work and you're texting your prison buddy, your prison boyfriend. It's, it's amazing. It's an amazing thing. She says, I just don't understand why they would block your phone calls. I hope we can call later. Then Catherine responds again to shut me up, but it will never happen. Anyways, yeah, we should be able to let me check it out. I don't understand what she means. We should be able to let me check it out, but okay. So now it's 4.02 p.m. and Catherine hits him back again. And remember, these are double messages. He's not responding. He can't respond that fast because he has 15 other women he's talking to right now. Remember, we're pulling these messages out of the entire open world of messages that are flooding into his inbox. So she double messages at 4.02 p.m. She says, ha, 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 I'm currently in work. I am literally like 9 to 9.15, so like five hours. I have so much to tell you, literally. How have you been, though? I have literally been thinking about you since we got disconnected, like literally just waiting to call. Ha, ha. So if you ever get disconnected, just know it wasn't me. And I will be waiting for your call from you as always, considering I am literally getting this tattoo since it reminds me of you. I am crazy. <laughs> I have so much to tell you. Literally, how have you been, though? I have literally been thinking about you since we got disconnected, like literally just waiting. Like, holy shit, bro. Calm down on the literallys. I know your vocabulary isn't that extensive, but you could use something else. You could use totally. I totally miss you. You know, that, that, that works. I, I very much miss you. That works even better for me. Fuck it. Let's use small words. I very much miss you. I miss you very much. There you go. You could interchange it. <sighs> Literally. Literally. Man, shit. Take a shot every time Catherine says literally, and let's see if you're still conscious by the end of this video. Wade Wilson responds, you can do better than that with the hooker. You can get real inspiration and thought. Yeah, listen to Wade Wilson for inspiration and thought. So if you guys don't understand what he's saying, he's trying to coach her in the tattoo design that she's getting. So I think when he's saying you can do better than that with the hooker, you can get real inspiration and thought. He's trying to tell her like, oh, you could probably do a better tattoo than that. Well, why don't you try this? Why don't you try that? Man, if it ever comes a time in my life to where I get tattoo advice from a fucking death row inmate, you need to tell me to reevaluate myself. You guys need to come up with an intervention in the comments and let me know that I'm tweaking. Imagine getting inspiration from Wade Wilson, not just a prisoner. Not just an inmate on death row, but someone like Wade Wilson. Catherine responds, you don't like that one? 
I have a couple I'm looking at. I just like the bloody things, so I'm changing my rose tattoo on my arm into a red rose dripping with blood. I'm getting a sleeve, and I love the Joker, so I want him in it. I love horror stuff. Ha <laughs> ha how did you pick out all your tattoos? Because I was debating on getting someone with a stitched face on my leg. I love that stuff. I love anything that's like you. Catherine, go get evaluated. Go get evaluated and get prescribed the necessary medication because you have problems. And I mean, don't even ask him how he got his tattoo ideas. It was probably drug induced. He was probably high every time he got his tattoos. I do want to point this out. He does look covered, and he looks pretty covered in tats and shit, but if you pay attention, because me, I'm always paying attention to tattoos, because, you know, I like tattoos. I, You know, if you pay attention to his tattoos, they all look like shit, bro. And it, it's almost like when you get to a certain point and you get covered, people don't really notice your tattoos look like shit, but anybody who actually, like, has tattoos and a brain... Because this girl probably has five little fine line itsy bitsy tattoos. That shit don't count. Anybody who actually has tattoos and a brain will know this. You're not going to want to get too much inspiration from Wade Wilson. He's going to lead you down a shitty tattoo path. You're going to have shit on your arms. He's going to recommend the worst tattoo artists. They're going to bash the shit in your skin. It's not going to look good. Catherine responds and says, my work like condemned me for getting like tattoos like that because I was showing someone and they're like, oh, you can't serve with that. Like, yes, I can. LOL. Take your shots, everybody. Take I'm, I'm out. I'm out. I'm not doing it today. I'm not doing it. Take your shots. You said you wanted to play the game, right? Take your fucking shots. What was that? One, two, three, four, five. You, you owe me five shots, okay? She said like five times. Let me know if you're still conscious. Let's go. Continue. We're going. The game's not over yet. You finish? All right, let's go. So can I still flirt and talk sexy to you, or is that not allowed now? Smiley face. Now Kelly interjects. If you guys don't remember Kelly, she's just the one who's very knowledgeable and the one who's just there in this corner forever. It's very stupid. Kelly hits him up. Great news. Disney is naming a new fucking roller coaster after you. It's going to be called Wade's Chariot. And once you get on, you can never, ever get off. Think it'll be a hit? No comment. Catherine responds again at 8.13 p.m. So work is almost done. She's getting antsy. She can't wait. He, he didn't respond to her. For three hours. So, you know, obviously you have to quadruple text him and make sure he's still alive and not out partying. Oh, wait, no, he's in prison, locked up in one cell. Okay, so you know where he's at. But she responds again. Just got out of work. You can call me whenever you can, sexy. So that pretty much um, wraps up the Catherine situation. There's a few more messages between him and Catherine. But at this moment of time, he's really focused on Jesse slash Ari. He's trying to get his trial overturned. He's trying to be out in a year, obviously. And he wants to start his social media career because clearly, you know, this publicity will boost him into the media. He has his life planned out in front of him, right? So they kind of start to lose contact here. But then we have to go to our new character, Sarah, because she comes in hot. It's almost as if they were married for 10 years. Sarah needs to talk to herself some Wade Wilson. So she starts this message out. Hey, Wade, I'm sure they're great and you're really lucky to have them on your side. They'll make a really great job. But you can never be 100% sure of anyone's loyalty. You probably know that better than I do. There's a lot of misinformation circling in your group right now. What I meant to say is that exposing you to your truth on the network like this at this time could be a double-edged sword. Personally, I would have waited until after the 27th for the appeal. It's too risky. But I'm not in your place, and I respect and support your choices and the choices of your team. Just like your group, I understood a lot of things, too. I watched the whole trial for hours with my professional experience. There are a lot of inconsistencies, no doubt about that. I have a feeling that in the last few days, you don't trust me anymore, and that you're keeping to avoid the subject. 
Once and again, if you'd like to call me, please prove to me, however you can, that I can trust you. I will get an American number, but please reassure me first, no matter how. Oh shit, Sarah might be a foreigner too. Damn, we might have to keep the accent. We'll, we'll keep the accent regardless. But Sarah, Sarah, you trust him? She wants Wade Wilson to win her over so that she can trust him. Ma'am, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna happen. And even if I was an innocent person, I would be. I would be like, how fucking dare you? I'm trying to win the judge over to free me, but at the same time, I have to win you over because of your professional experience, and you feel like I've been drawing away. What you need to do is go on Tinder. And just fuck somebody, please. That's what you need to do. There, there is somebody in this world who will get down with your crazy ass and they won't be in prison and they won't be woman murderers. Okay, please. You just need to fuck somebody. Don't even fall in love with them. You, you sound like a person who hasn't had any. You haven't had any in a while. It feels like that. That's the vibe I'm getting off of Sarah. That shit is crazy. She, anyways, she's talking to him like a long lost wife or something. Like they're estranged for a month and they need to they need to get back together and get things right. What's going on? Way Wilson responds to Sarah. He says, How could I prove trust? Tell me. Tell me, baby. Baby, how could I tr how could I prove trust, babe? Babe, babe, babe. Just, just tell me. Just just tell me. Tell me. Man, when he does shit like that, you it's like you just want to smack the fuck out of him. You just want to smack the rest of his teeth out of his mouth, bro. And it probably won't be that hard, the way that shit looks. Sarah immediately responds. By telling me why, since Saturday, you've been writing me only two words in your messages. You know to do better, so why? So now she getting emotional. She getting real emotional. Sarah hits him back. Just tell me if I have to wait all night for an answer. Smiley face. Like, what's with the fucking smiley faces? All these women, they say the saddest shit, and then they punctuate with a smiley face. What is wrong with you? Wade Wilson responds to Sarah. Because I'm delicate toward who and what I speak on about. You need to understand this. But the answer, my answer to you, is yes. Let's continue on already. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I agree. That's a very smart answer. How is that a smart answer? Let's rewind. I'm just going to say, I'm not even going to show it. I'm just going to read it. Because I am delicate toward who and what I speak about or on. You need to understand this. But the answer, my answer to you is yes. Let's continue on. That's not even an answer. All he said, he used one word. He said delicate. He inserted delicate into the simple sentence. And all of a sudden, that's a smart response. Oh, well, I guess that's just such a, you changed my mind. That's such a smart response. Well, damn it. Maybe we can work this out. These women are stupid. Okay, I agree. This is a very smart answer. But as you say, am I supposed to know what you're talking about? Really? So please explain to me what the fuck gives you the need to write some kind of stuff to hundreds of women. Just answer my question genuinely. I'm a professional. You know that. No cheating. No manipulation. No short texts. You owe me a real explanation. And then depending on your answer, I'll be finally ready for what I want so badly. That's the only thing I want. So remember I told you this is Vivian part two, right? This might be Vivian's American account. This might be, this might be Vivian's secondary account because she's on the same thing. Oh, you're texting all those girls? Well, tell me, tell me what makes me better. Tell me what's... Me I refuse to believe there are so many people in this world that are so fucking easy it's almost like a sign it's like they're holding a sign up manipulate me please take advantage of me please i beg you take advantage of me it literally holding up a sign she says what the fuck gives you the need to write the same kind of stuff to hundreds of women just answer my question genuinely genuinely I am a professional. 
you're a professional at tweaking. You're a professional at mental breakdowns. You're probably a professional at taking prescription medication. I don't know what type of professional you're talking about, but everybody can be a professional at something. Wade Wilson responds to that unhinged message. She says, no comment. You are the one who said that we would talk on the phone this week when you returned. We haven't yet. If you don't want to, then I would understand. That becomes your own prerogative. He earned a new squiggle right there. He used the word prerogative properly, and he was like, ooh, that becomes your own prerogative. He's using big words. He's trying to use big words because he's talking to his lawyer lady, you know? Oh, well, that's your own prerogative. Define prerogative, Wade. Please. Wade Wilson, define prerogative. Give me a definition. Fucking idiot. Sarah responds. Wait, is it so hard to answer two simple questions? Yes, I said I would agree you to call me. But that was before I discovered all these messages you exchanged with other girls. And before you stopped contact with me. Shit, it's 4 a.m. in the morning here. And tomorrow, I have to testify at a trial. Instead of... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Tom tomorrow, you have to testify at a trial. Man, I need to find that judge and write him an email on behalf of AG Tactical and, and the subscribers that I have. We, we, we implore you to remove that jury member. We, we, implore you, we implore you because she will ruin the entire trial. Imagine somebody like this is actually going to a trial. I hope she's not in the jury panel because if she is, that person is fucked. I have to testify at the trial. Instead of sleeping, I am awake talking to a stranger who seemed to understand me at the very beginning. As a sweet, loving man, as you described yourself, you should know what to say in a particular moment. You could be honest with me. You could make me feel better about us. But the only comment I get from you is no comment. I tell myself, yep, it's over. Gone. Goodbye. I feel happy with my normal life. Keeping on with a more than very well-paid job and dating every single man I want. Then no, got to talk to you again. Write you how I truly feeling. Oh yeah, she's definitely foreign. Because it's easier to write my thoughts down. Phone calls, not so much. Phone calls can be very frustrating. But per message, you can say whatever is on your mind. I can hear and accept everything. You can tell me everything you think. I'm not judging you. You need to understand this, too. I asked you one more single question today to prove that, and you asked me how I would like that to make this. So I told you what I needed to continue on already. I really would like to continue. Everything could have been gonna be all right, no matter your answer would have been. As long as I would have had an answer from you, I could have dealed even with the weirdest truth. These last days have been torture for me. They are long and have no meaning to them most of the time. There's nothing wrong with feeling like this. I may be temporary anyway. I have to take a deep breath, short breath away to sort out my feelings. This night will hopefully let me see things clearer. It's hard loving someone who does not care about you. I have been through this and I promise myself not to be willing to go through this again. But I thought you were different. In fact, I still believe that you are very sweet and a loving man underneath your mask. We all have hearts and souls. People can make mistakes and be good people. Just because you go to prison doesn't make you worse than someone else did. Ma'am, strangling two people, like, and strangling two women. Um, I think I would say that's a bad person. I, I don't think that's a mask. I think that's who he is. I think he wears the skin of a horrible person.
And I mean, there's murders that happen all over the world. And I mean, I feel for some people like, yeah, he killed that person, but this happened. Yeah, he took that person's life, but this happened. But this is not that scenario. There's no but, there's no because, there's no after or before. He's just a stupid brute of a human who just decided to kill people. It's all the stupid compiled in his brain that just led him to believe like, yeah, I mean, I'll just strangle her because it was a thrill. Uh -huh, yeah, I'm innocent. It's nothing but a moron. There's no nuance to this case. But yeah, he has a mask and he's a good person deep down. No, he's not. He's a fucking moron who killed two people. That's the reality. I can't prevent myself from falling out of love. Sounds stupid, isn't it? But unfortunately, it's naturally occurring. <laughs> that shit's not natural. You're not natural. And most likely for natural reason. My mind and body is wanting you and pushing me this way. I hate myself for this happening. It's shit. So let's stop here because I need a going to take a couple of to allow myself to sleep for a few hours. If you're willing to answer me, you are very welcome. At least I could sleep for more, better. If not, it's okay. I can't change your mind anyways. If you don't want to contact me, a photo of me is on the way. Simply delete it. You know the best what my love means to you. My love is on your hands. Whatever happens, I am in this now. I stand by you. I love you, baby. I would make anything for you. Remember this, Sarah. Oh, shit. I don't know. It's because I'm reading so much contradicting things. It's like I don't even know where these messages are going. Because she just said bye forever at one point. And then she said, I love, my love is in your hands. I'm in this now. I stand by you. In the same paragraph. Get these women admitted, man. They started a GoFundMe for Wade Wilson. We need to start a GoFundMe for the Wade Wives mental health treatment. That's what we need to do. We might even start that. If anybody wants to sign up and admit that they are fucked in the brain, Sarah, I'm calling you Sarah. If you need to sign up, sweetheart, I got you, man, because mental health is real. And all these women, mental health. That's just their title, mental health, all of them. But anyways, people, I love you guys, man. You guys are the shit. We made 43,000 subscribers. The goal was 45 by the end of this month, and damn it, we're close. But hit the like button, subscribe, tell a friend, whatever, whatever. I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. And I really appreciate you, man. You guys are the shit. You guys are awesome. Like, you guys are top tier. The whole community that we created and that we built over the past couple of years is insane to me. I never thought I would have, I never thought I'd have a platform like this. You know, I never, you know, but you know, tried some shit and it turns out that you guys fuck with me and I fuck with you guys back. But anyways, I'm gonna get up out of here. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Um, hopefully I'll drop a video tomorrow. My mom is coming to town, so I might not, but you know, we'll see how it goes. But until then, stay inside, stay safe. I'm going to catch y'all later. Peace.